Rookies in a school somewhere, and they probably failed the CDL test. They, your morale is down. You understand? Uh, if you didn't fail the CDL test, you're going through the long stretch of being in school. And you you can't right now you can't really see you can't really see the light like at the end of the tunnel you just know this shit is hard as fuck it's seven days a week you're tired you really ain't got no money it, you got problems at the crib it's always something old lady bitching you know motherfucker fucked up your car while you was gone because they're using your car while you're gone People, you know, a lot of shit is happening at one time, you understand? And, and a thought may have crossed your mind to just say, fuck it, man. I don't, yo, this shit is just, it, this shit ain't worth it. Even It's not worth it, man. Like, I'm just, this is too much to deal with at one time. Okay. I'm here to tell you, finish. Just finish, bro. If you get your CDLs, you will be hireable. You understand? And this is very important. You got to understand. You will have, I want to say job security. Not even job security. You have job. You'll be a hot thing on the job market. You understand? Because people don't know how deep CDLs go. Like, you don't have to be at a transportation company, per se. You can... Man, there's construction. There's crane operators. They gotta have a CDL. There's so many facets of this job. Uh, environmental companies that have vac trucks that suck out ships and take the oil to up the street to get processed or back to their terminal to get processed. And it's so many jobs with CEL involved that what you're getting will, when I say it changed your life, it's not like it just, oh, your life just gets better. You understand? That's a misunderstanding of what we say to you. You know, it's not that your life gets better. It's that you have a, you have a silver bullet in the job market, period, man. You will never have to worry about getting a job again unless you fuck up and drink in the truck or something stupid as fuck, you know. And, and you may be coming from a situation where you were getting $9 an hour, 11 an hour, 13 $15 an hour job at the $15 an hour job and it was demeaning and you know, you're cleaning toilet bowls or cleaning out offices or working at Best Buy and you fucking got some little snot-nosed cocksucker fucking telling you what to do when you're 28 years old. Somehow he's the assistant manager at 16, 19 years old. You got to deal with that shit. Are you a barista? You're one of these things and you're just like, yo, this don't make enough money for me to live. If you finish this school... That's gone. That's gone, man. You hear me? I don't give a fuck you graduated high school. I ain't graduated high school. You understand? I ain't graduated high school. Nope. I was hot in Cooter Brown all high school, dog. Smoked out. Bob Marley. Yeah. Not understanding the importance. I got a GED, but Staney asked me for it when I got there and went. And I'm more hireable than a decent portion of college graduates. Just by CDLs. That's why you gotta finish it. You heard me? 
That's why you're going to go if you ain't win yet. That's why. Is getting a CDL good? Fuck yeah. Oh, you have to be a motherfucking idiot. Now, if it's something you don't want to do, it's not good. But we're talking about the people who are considering it. Fuck yeah, man. It's good. Fuck yeah. I can just tap something on the internet saying I'm thinking about a job. And no bullshit. 26 calls a day of jobs over the poverty line. Begging you to come. Sean, you ain't got a CDL. You go on the job market. Y'all that shit not like that. Hell, you know you ain't got it yet. But is it a good fuck if it's a good company to get the CDL, dog? Get it. Get the CDL. No, oh, well, don't. You leave. You're fucking over the company. You're not a stand up. First of all, the people who talk like that suck a dick. That's number one. Fuck that company, dog. The company don't give a fuck about you, son. That company is a fucking business. Its job is to make profit. It is fuck you. That's just the truth, dog. None of these companies give a fuck about any of us. You go there and get what you need out of it. Your CDL and your experience. After that, fuck them in their ass, dog. Get your CDL. That's what matters, dog. Is getting CDL a good thing? Are you, I mean, duh, yes. Yes. Get it. Now, is getting your CDL all you need to do? No, after that, you got to work. You know? A lot of people come on here and they may, sometimes... It, it sounds like they're glorifying it. And what they say, it ain't all wrong. It's just that sometimes you do got to put out the original, the actual what's going on. And there's some fucking bullshit with it, too. But it ain't nothing like making no fucking $10 an hour. Look, so I understand how it feel, though. I know how it feel to work all week and get a $333 check. And got to get 300 of that up. Now you got $30, man. You trying to buy a bag of weed and some cigarettes. After you buy a bag of weed, some cigarettes, and some num nums, you flat broke. You understand? I know how it feels. Trying to fucking stretch this little bit of weed out the whole motherfucking week. You gotta buy pampers and all this other shit. After all your responsibilities done, you ain't got no gas. Can't get a motherfucker a ride because you only got a half a tank of gas and you need to get that back and forth to work all week. No, I haven't been there, dog. Sleeping at a motherfucker house that don't really want you there, so they starting to treat you like shit. They busting like a motherfucker out here in the slum, ain't they? Someone just got shot. Close my motherfucking shade, though. <laughs> what the fuck, man? No, I'm from Virginia, boy. They killing niggas out here, but fucking... I know how that shit feel, dog. It's the worst, man. And you get this CDL, it's gonna change that shit. You gonna have to work now. Don't get it fucked up. You can't be, man, you can be a lazy trucker, but now you get that CDL, you got a job, dog. All you gotta do is not crash into shit. Don't drink in the truck like a fucking idiot. You understand? Be there on time. That's all you got to do. All the rest of that shit will work itself out. You'll fall You'll fall into the niche you're supposed to be in. But you got to finish this school. If you go all the way to that school and go through all of that shit and don't pass, why would you waste your time like that? You hear me? Now, look, my truck of Brian coming down, all right? I may not be your type of motherfucking person to listen to, you know? But one thing, I'm going to tell you some real shit. Get that motherfucker. That was the best thing I've... It's the best thing I've ever fucking done. It's the best thing I've ever done as far as the direction of my life besides get, get making my child. It's the best thing I've done for my life. It gave me... It gave me financial security and independence. One of the two key things you need as a man or a woman... As an adult, as an independent adult, this is the things you need, man. You understand? It doesn't make give you happiness. It gets you closer to security. You need that shit, dog. Do it, dog. All the other 
talk on this YouTube and the back and forth. And that shit don't mean nothing. Listen to what me tell you. Get that motherfucker, dog. Get it. I'm telling you, dog. I'm telling you some shit. I'm telling you like when your uncle told you, pussy will fuck your life up and you ain't believe him. That's how real we talk about right now. When he told you don't stick it in too far, that pussy will bite you. You ain't listen. Now you're on child support. This one of them talks. Get that motherfucking CDL, dog. Now, motherfucker can't tell me shit. Kinda. Fuck you, I don't get shit. I got a crib, so you know what I'm saying? My crib just happened to be a Volvizi, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, but can't no chick tell you shit. Can't no man tell you shit. Your mama can't say shit to you. You're stupid. Punk ass stepdaddy that don't want you in the house no more. Nobody can say shit to you. I got my own fucking money, my own place to fucking stay, my own health motherfucking care. I can go anywhere in the country I fucking won't get a job. Anywhere in the UN state countries I can get a job. I can get a job anywhere. I don't need to have my hand out for nothing but loads. You want to be independent? And I ain't telling you a company to go to. This is for you. Just I don't get nothing out of this. You hear me? Get to a company. Get the CDLs in your hand. Because one thing all these companies do universally is get you your CDLs. What the training companies do. Now, whether they're going to rape you your first year, well, you're gonna it is what it is. But you got to get your CDL. That's what you need. Fuck if you identify with me. Fuck if you subscribe to me, though. Get that motherfucker, nigga. You mean, you know what I'm saying? You can get a Volvizi. <laughs> and if you knew, if you knew, I'm going to go ahead and get to you. For SoCal, you can look him up. For Carolina uh, uh, Boy the Tank Driver, you can look him up. For LaShawn Parks, you can look him up. Okay? Before they get to you and ruin you. The best truck in the industry is a Volvo. The Peterbilt's are lemons. All of them are lemons. I got a call from the CEO of Peter, but y'all know I talked to the CEO because you probably y'all probably knew y'all don't ever talk to me. But I'm I'm in deep at the, at the Peterbilt plant, and they told me that yo Chuck Brown, most of these Peterbilts are garbage. Like <laughs> real talk, <laughs> they are garbage. You don't need them. Tell them when they ask you what you want to drive. Tell them I want a motherfucking Volvo. They gonna ask you why. You say I'm trying to fucking ride heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it like that. They probably fucking fire you. But try to get a Volvo if you got an option. You get a Peterbilt. You never go anywhere. It breaks down every week. Tell SoCal I said, what's up, nigga? Yeah. Hi. Put you out. SoCal in the shop right now. I wouldn't lie. I ain't gonna lie about it. Ain't in the shop right now. I called. I was just telling him on the phone. I was like, yo, what's going on? He was like, and sh the whole tranny fell out. Engine blue. You know, only three of his tires was flat. I said, God damn, dog. He's like, I know, man. I should have bought a Volvo, man. So I gave him a number up there to go get him up in a Volvo. He's going to go up to the dealership, pick up one. I wouldn't lie about this. One thing, if you knew, too, I never lie. I always tell the truth. And if you vape, either you're going to get a crown. And I got my crown. I'm just, I'm loving the steamroller. Or you get a Cortex or a Cooper Plus. I'm just trying to glitch, bring you in the door and give you all the information you need to know. You understand? <laughs> Volvizi, man. Get that CDL and you can smile like me. Stay up. Trucker Brown coming down. I ain't never around. I'm probably leaving town. Bang.